Hey there friends and enemies, Joper here again, and Baldur's Gate 3 is one of my most anticipated games of 2023. I think it looks like it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Everything that I've seen has been really, really positive, and they recently dropped three different trailers that I want to check out. All of them very different, but I wanted to kind of go over them all in the same video instead of splitting them up so that way we can see all of them firsthand, and I'm going to check them out with you guys and see what the hype is all about. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Cities are incredibly hard to make in RPGs because you have to make sure that every single nook and cranny has something to do. You have to make sure that it's different, so you have to be incredibly creative, given that the name of the game yeah, that's the sick. city was really going to be the thing that people were going to be talking about. Larian so, Studios is underrated, for sure. Which uh, it originally wasn't. You only can judge the game when you have all the components together, and if the mix doesn't work, we start over. At some point, he said, like, can't we just connect everything? And uh, that was uh, that was a very interesting day. One of the things <laughs> that that's done is it's brought a level of believability and immersion, uh, and also complexity that wouldn't have been there. Yeah, this it's looks like an RPG. I definitely want to dive into. Organism, and it really, really look at that really giant. Really to look out of the window and see down the city slopes. So you're seeing down toward the docks, and you, you're like, one of my teammates might be down there. They might be running around down there. We were. That's doing, sick. Uh, as a painting almost you, you start with a sketch a very basic line and then you just start adding layers and layers we can put lots more of the city onto the screen uh, than they could in 1998 so uh, we can do something that is more bro i nature. love this as a D, &D fan feels like this is tremendous around the place where there are lots and lots of people living their actual lives you have crowds that are walking around, can talk to pretty much anybody, and they react to every single thing. It's, it's very alive in that sense. Every person that you meet in Baldur's Gate uh, has got a story to them. I love that. All the things that you have done up to the city really matter. You can really feel the conclusion of everything just gathering there. We actually build anticipation through all these characters that you've met, through all these situations that you've been through. All the stories that you have been following, all the decisions that you've been making, they all come to fruition uh, in that lower city. And the great thing is, if you so choose, you can be another bad thing that's happening to the city. You can arrive and be like, this place is on fire, and then you can throw <laughs> petrol all over <laughs> Oh man, there's going to be so many different playthroughs of this. Was our destination. We I love that. I think three times four times as much effort on the city than we originally planned but the result the result the the, the feeling of walking in there is just fantastic yeah i'm very hyped about um, this look at that that's crazy jostling or things that are very much of the real world and then you can indulge in the completely fantastical and then when you walk into the city the noise of everybody talking to each other the knowledge that everywhere you look you can go there and you can do something the knowledge that you can fly through it it's great so that's awesome i was the most afraid of when we started making this game turned out to be the thing that i'm the most proud of <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah man uh that looks tremendous august 31st absolutely cannot wait really excited to see what else they have in store now we have this next trailer enver gortash Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? We got mechanical soldiers there. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. Never a good thing. A new age is upon us. Gods have mercy on those who would stand in our way. A mad dog understands the yank of the leash and the hand of its master, but it cannot be an equal. You can be my equal. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Okay, this is pretty fire. I love behind the scenes stuff like this, to be honest. This city is mine. I'm not ready to call you enemy. What do you say? Shall we be allies? That's going to be interesting, knowing that you might have a decision in that, and it's not just like, yes, yeah, like, yes, you have to be. Under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, yeah, that's menacing. I'm, I'm a fan. All right, this is an animated short, so I want to see this as well. My fellow adventurers, 
The road to Baldur's Gate has been long. We have fought cultists of a strange new god, battled packs of fearsome gnolls, and gone toe to toe with creatures from beyond this. This is awesome, huh? Faced our greatest foe yet. He was just so strong. And I think his blood was acid. I'm not sure how that even works, like anatomically. Tomorrow, we find higher ground. Damn. Then rain down upon him with 100 arrows. No, first, I will incapacitate him with a fit of hideous laughter. Then, we will fill his bog with grease and set it on fire. And if he attempts to escape the blaze, fear not, for I will keep... I want an entire cartoon based off of this. Don't. Even Lazelle's puns are more amusing. Among Githyanki, I am considered extremely humorous. Enough! We must defeat this foe. I love this. Somewhere within these twisted swamps dwells a hag who possesses a potent potion, an elixir that could grant us the ability to converse with the creature. However, attaining it will necessitate a trade. Give me his spleen. What? Steal your nerves, friends. I will now attempt to reason with the creature. Most mighty beast, though you defeat us, hands. we have returned to seek your guidance. Put <laughs> your knowledge upon us and teach us the source of your power. It's here, Frog. Oh, I didn't know you speak Frog. Gosh, I'm so sorry about you. There's no way, bro. You know. Ever since the hag turned me into a frog, I've been down in the dust. Okay, what the heck was that? That was the weirdest little short thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, that was pretty funny. I did enjoy that, but it was kind of silly. That being said... The game itself, the the world, the city of Waterdeep looks tremendous, or city of Baldur's Gate. I said Waterdeep because I'm I'm just D and D on the mind right now. City of Baldur's Gate looks tremendous. It looks spot on, and I'm a big fan of what they've done. I think there's a lot of potential there for not only uh, intrigue, exploration, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I'm excited to see how the party works, how you can play, uh, if you can play you know, like co-op how the game is going to work out, all that kind of, I just, I'm very excited. Uh, words are failing me right now, but really, I, it's just a game that after playing the previous two, there's just so much potential there that I'm excited to see where they had it. And Laren Studios, after some of their recent games, they've been nothing but successful and nothing but games that I just want to keep playing over and over again. Uh, Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2, both very good. So I'm excited to see where this heads. I can't wait to get hands-on with this finally. August 31st, it's going to be a, an absolute blast. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Helps me out tremendously. Shows you want to see more Baldur's Gate content from me going forward. I'm going to definitely cover Baldur's Gate 3 in detail. Let me know if you want me to run through the old games and like put some highlights and stuff on the channel as well. If you want to see that, let me know. My name is Joe. I hope you have a good one. I'll catch you all later.